All right, everybody, today we're going to be talking about a gun that I honestly never thought I would be using. We're talking about the Burden of Guilt. This is a stasis fusion rifle that you get from Trials of Osiris, and I never thought I'd see myself using this thing. I had one in my vault from when I was grinding Trials a while back, but I never pulled it out to use it, and that's just because I never used fusion rifles. I don't, I didn't think they were that good until I started using this thing. We're going to go over the perks that I have and the role that I'm looking to get. We're also going to talk about how it performs in the Crucible, and then we're going to get into some gameplay. We're gonna start off with the perks that I personally want for my god roll whenever I get that. And that is small bore, projection fuse, perpetual motion, high impact reserves with a range masterwork. Now small bore I think is just the overall best barrel here because it gives you that range bump and it also gives you a little stability to help constrain the bolts. And projection fuse just gives you that range bump which I feel like this thing needs. And then perpetual motion gives you more handling and stability while you're in motion. And that's always gonna help with swap speed and once again the uh, constraint to the bolts. And then high impact reserve is just a S tier perk on fusion. You start with two ammo so each one of your shots is going to deal more damage and then range mask work over something like stability because i don't really think this thing needs it if you have small war on there and if you get it adept you can throw an adept stability mod on here and you'd be pretty much set now with the roll that i just described your stats would be as follows it would be 70 impact 68 range which would give it 16.59 meters of range 46 stability 32 handling and 31 reload speed the part where this fusion really just goes over the top is the 52 aim assist now this really comes into handy with your bolts i don't know it just makes this gun feel a lot more crisp and it feels like you can range people with this thing even though it doesn't have the most range on it now when it comes to engagements in the crucible this thing is going to be great for short to medium ish ranges this thing definitely feels like sometimes it could just map people from crazy ranges you wouldn't even think of and then other times it would just whiff from that range it's kind of on and off in that aspect but this thing can definitely outgun some shotguns if you just get like a step out of their range they'll almost kill you and you'll kill them 100 percent every time and once again, the only way to get this thing is from Charles of Osiris. There is also an adept version of it. I don't think it's the adept weapon this week currently. Now with all that information aside, we're going to head over to past me and we're going to get into the gameplay. Now, all right, now hopefully this game goes better than the last two. Last one, I lagged out. The one before that, I forgot to press record. That's a uh, third time's a charm, you know? I hit him with the auto off the start. Anybody else up there? There is. That's two of them. See if we can jump over this and get a fusion. Ah, he's too far. He's running to somewhere. Like I was saying in the last two recordings, you're gonna see in this that this fusion is hella inconsistent. Sometimes it's just you're right in front of somebody and one bolt just misses and then you don't get the kill. And then other times you'll hit like two bolts from range and it'll just kill people. I don't I don't understand how it works either, but it just does. I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna go through A. Never mind. Teammate is dead. Nice little two-piece right there. See, there we go. That right there is a good example of the one time when it actually works at a close range. Definitely some people over this way. I don't want to go in there alone. There's a lot of them. And there goes our radar. Oh, my Jesus. They really had the whole team there, huh? Teammate here. See, like, that's one of the times where I don't know how the hell I just killed him, but it works, so I'm not going to complain. And there's that's a perfect example, and there's one of the times where I'm up close and I don't know how it didn't kill him. And another not-so-great thing, I guess, about this gun is that you have to play Trials for it, so if you do not like Trials that much and you're just looking for a fun fusion, nice. you're out of luck with this one. Nice little triple there, though. So far this game, though, this thing has been pretty damn consistent. Compared to the other two games, this thing was whipping left and right, so I'm glad, glad I'm not using those. That's not what you like to see. Somehow that didn't hit me. Thank you, teammate. That's not good. I'm not even mad at that. That was such a good fucking trip mine. He threw it right underneath my feet while I was in my blade barrage. I'm not even mad at that. That was a, that was a good, good nade. That is not, not good for us, though. Did the super decide to, like, chase somebody else? Are we good? Another example, again, of being up close and it just doesn't kill for some reason. Don't matter. Burn the guilt is better. See if we can hold down B. That's not good. 
I'm just kind of guessing now. At least we shut down that golden gun quick, though. And killed him. Can we keep it going? The answer is no. We can't. We cannot keep it going. Fuck it, we're pushing in. I guess we're not pushing in. Alright, I guess we're not going that way either. Fuck it, we are pushing in. They are power playing us, and they are one kill away from winning. At least it's not going to be on me, though. Or is it? His ass was waiting for me. You know, that wasn't too bad. I mean, looking at our team, my man's went 0.8. Um, we dropped 22 with a 2.0. Not too bad. Yeah, man, this thing is definitely going to get me to use fusions more. I, like I've been saying, I would like a little more stability to get those bolts a little more constrained. But other than that, this is honestly probably the role I'm going to use for a while unless I get an adept version. But yeah, if you liked, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. And I'll see you guys next time.